dragons, creature of myth and legend, majestic, fearsome, known for his wisdom, power, and good fortune. It embodies the essence of harmony, representing the union of spiritual and earthly realms. From the most well-known dragon, the King Golden Dragon, often associated with the emperors, to the elemental celestial dragon kings who rules over Earth's elements. Each holds a distinct role in Chinese mythology. Dragon imagery has taken from each of the nine suns, protecting buildings, artifacts, and traditional attire, believed to usher in blessings and war off evils. In the heart of many Asians, the dragon stands as a timeless emblem, a guardian of tradition, a beacon of hope, and a symbol of unity. Its legacy transcends generation and a testament to the enduring power of myth and the depth of human imagination. Standing at number 5, center of 12 zodiacs, the one and only zodiac that is not just an animal, but a creation that rules them all. This is the Davidoff Year of the Dragon Grand Toro Review. Hey guys, welcome to the Soy Sasa Assassin. Welcome to this very special episode of Cigar Review. Yes, you can see that attire. Today we're doing the Davidoff Year of the Dragon, but not the regular one. Not the regular one. We are doing the Grand Toro. Okay, so this is probably the most expensive one that we bought for the sake of review and collection. I think that that's one of those things. Okay. So, uh, the cigar itself, MSRP, you have to buy a box right now. So MSRP, 2136 and I bought it at $2,300 plus tax and shipping, right, basically. So, uh, supposedly it's $89 a stick, box of 24. I know there's a lot of people doing the reviews for the Churchill or Double Corona. That is a seven and a half by 50, and that's a $59 stick. Okay, so before we go too far, you gotta say, hey, Tony, the math is not right here, okay? Uh, uh, six by 56 is 326, and seven and a half by 50 is 375. How can a bigger cigar actually cost less than a smaller cigar? Now, here is the conspiracy. All right. Don't quote me on this. I just want to tell you the story. Okay. So what they wanted to make initially is actually the humidor and the cigar. All right. The humidor and the cigar is $49,000. You, you get a humidor and you get the cigar that they intended to make, which they have 88 of them in there. They made 25 of those plus the 88 cigar. Okay, and the ADA cigar is separate in its own wooden box to fill that humidity. That's what they wanted to make, okay? What I had is essentially a refill, okay? And what they needed to do is in order to get all the tobacco they need to make this thing, they had to buy other tobacco that they didn't really need, all right? It's like, hey, if you wanna buy this limited edition cigar, you must buy a box of other cigar in order to buy one. You know, one of those deals. You know, you know what I mean, right? So you have those issues, and, and now you have this cigar, and now you have a, a lot of other tobacco. So what they did is they say, okay, we can make a lot of similar cigars, make it bigger, put the filler in there, and sell it for cheaper so that we can afford to make this cigar and make money on the other cigars. So that was a conspiracy or could be the truth 
for why the cigar of Churchill size is way cheaper than this size. Okay, they put everything together the same way. Uh, the tray, instead of a trade of 24, you get a trade of 10 on the Churchill, which we'll probably will do a review later on. Okay, so now I am going to show you the cigar and unbox it. Now, this is very heavy, so let's see how that works out. Now, you already probably already saw some part of it in the in intro that I'm going to make. So yeah, intro comes later. So you get this giant box, white box. This is by far the biggest, yet also the most expensive year of the collection in Davidoff. This thing filled the whole entire cycle from the very first one to this one. Where the very first one was not even called the Year of the Dragon, which I have a review on, so go watch that one. And this one is basically a whole circle. Dragon is the most important year, Dragon is the only zodiac animal that is not an animal. It's a mythical creature. They can fly. Still end up at number six because he does not care. Here's a box. Looks beautiful. I have no place for it, but I'm gonna put it in the side for now. And inside is a typical one of these cover sleeve open front so that you can take it out. Ooh, this thing is really heavy. Really, really heavy. Ooh. Okay, so step two. After you get the box open, put this away so you can cry about it later. For the 200, 2000 something dollars you spent. And you get this beautiful box, okay? Beautiful, 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 beautiful box. Okay, you can see myself. <laughs> So beautiful box and it's very lacquered. You can see whatever I typed up. <laughs> That's actually um, what I typed up for the intro. So if you listen to the intro, that's exactly what's in there. So now you get to see nothing. But anyways, the front cover opens up like this. And you get the inside, which is three tray. Now this tray comes all the way out. All the way out. So all three trays. Each tray has four. No, each way ha it has eight. Right? Because number eight is, is lucky. For the Chinese New Year's. So three trays of eight. And also this is numbered. My number is 440 out of 600. Now he's like, Tony, dude, you got a bad number. 440. Four is a bad number. But keep in mind, there's two fours. Two four makes eight. It's actually a good number. So, put it back like that. Very nice box. Very nice box. So, um, I'll probably record some more shots like B rolls so that you can take a look at it later. But right now, let's get started with the cigar. Okay. Oof. Oh, by the way, there is like footing to this. There's a footing. It's velveted, lacquered footing. That's gold. This foot is gold. All right. So here we go. All right. Let's pick out a cigar. Uh, I'm going to pick up this one. right here no i really let me take a footage of this whole thing for you guys so you guys can see this whole thing the presentation before i go off and smoke it because i think once i smoke it you're not gonna be able to see this so here Okay, pause it was a good idea because putting that back was hard. It was ooh, very hard. All right, anyways, today. Uh, with some coffee, ashtray in place. Let's take a look at the cigar. It says Davidoff, Year of the Dragon. 
FS. Don't know what that means. But let's take a good look of this cigar. Good look of this cigar. There we go. That is a beautiful cigar. Now the leaf looks like like raw, like like brew, like not very clean looking cigar. Like not not like you know, it's like chocolatey, oily. This thing actually looks like in between. Like in between. Like, you know, where it needs to be vein, is veiny, the color is like a tea-ish. It's a very musty, leafy, leafy smell. It smells like I just walk into, you know how the fall leaf comes down and you start to walk through it and you step on the leaves. That's how it smells like, those leaves, those dry leaves. That's how it smells like. Okay. Let's get started. First foot band. First foot band. Okay, so I have some information in front of me that the wrapper is Ecuadorian, uh, the binder is uh, Dominican, uh, the filler is Dominican Republic, Mexican, and Nicaraguan. They said there's a combined age of 60 years, could be plus minus, whatever. That information basically tried to skew. And remember that myth I was talking about, like that's the conspiracy, okay? So, bottom bin, bottom bin, bottom bin, bottom bin. Very cool theme. It's like the dragon scale. Go ban dragon. All right. Got you. All right. Uh, try to figure out what information that I have not given to you yet because I already say you that the price of the cigar, I got you the um, how much you pay for. So roughly we have to calculate this as it's 90 something dollars, $94. Okay. Cause I paid that. Right. So. Uh, we, we judge it as 90, 90 something dollars. Let's say 90, just to make it easy, because 89, right? 90 dollars. So we'll judge it from the 90 dollar range, okay? There is a little bit of open shaggy foot, just a little. It's very tiny, very small amount. Surprise, I thought it was gonna be like that much, but only half that. All right, so gotta get it cutting. Make sure I get a good cut. Okay. One of the cap kind of like didn't allow to stay. Musty. Peppery. Peppery. And just wet, damp taste. Now keep in mind, the weather is not damp, so that damp did not come from the weather or moisture. Cover it up. Wash it off with water. Try again. Yep, same taste. All right, let's light this up. By the way, I apologize. This video is going to be very long, I feel like. So, um, it's going to be a very long video. Did you touch that up? That piece is just not lit for some reason. Now it's kind of lit. All right. Let's taste. All right. 
damp wood. You get that. A little bit cedar ish damp wood. There is an earthiness going on. The smoke output is ridiculously good because my whole basement is clouded. Now I had to open the fan. There is a, like a weird herbal bitterness to it, but it's not, it's not negative. It's just there. And some sort of toast nut, some sort of nut. And there is a little bit of sourness, maybe citrusness to it. Yeah, it ends with uh, like a little bit of herb bitterness to it. But the initial note is actually pleasing. It's musty, it's damp, it's, it's a little bit earthy. Hmm. It has a little bit of licorice. Licorice is kind of bitter sweetness. So let me smoke for one third and I'll be right back. So a little bit of ash drop. I figure I kind of jump in right now to talk about this. So that shaggy foot really doesn't help with the burn, but this cigar keep lit even though I left it there for a little bit. It starts to have a little bit of the chocolate going on with some sweetness and that damp wood wetness uh, going on. It does taste very pungent and it feels like the taste starts to kind of get working, starts to warm up, starts to give you that flavor. But it hasn't got there yet. That chocolatiness almost has a little bit of like a nutty and honey to it. And then when that is gone, pepper. Just go to your nose. Just go to your nose at it. it. Says, "Hey, I'm here." So, it's. I think it starts to. It starts to try to find its balance after the first stir. I mean, that much is first stir, right? Yeah. So, after that little bit, it really is such a go. Hey, let's get everybody walking together, line up so that we can get this flavor together. It started to get there. So that's that's. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I'll, I'll touch it up a little bit. But right now, it's moving to a good good direction. It's moving towards a good direction, so I'm going to keep going with it. Second third, or end of this first true third. I think it's close. We'll be just be right back whenever it changes. Walking to second third, I kind of touched it up a little bit. So now it's burning correctly. All the flavor kind of get together. I get this a little bit of... Uh, white, peppery, chocolate, woodsiness. I think that's what it is. White, chocolate, white, pepper, chocolate, woodsiness. That's what I'm getting. Smoke output is still a lot. I have three fans running. Actually, four fans running. Trying to keep this clear because it was clouding that at this place up. A lot of smoke. It's like a, not concentrated smoke, but like a widespread smoke. Widespread smoke. So I'm trying to figure out what they try to portray so special on this. It does taste somewhat fermented. It has a little bit of this fermented taste to it. But that's pretty much it. I'm right into the second third now. I'm trying to figure out what they try to portray here. What's so dragon about this? Other than being raw.
I think the mistake here is having that citrusy taste at the end. Because that chocolate, warm, creaminess in the beginning with that little bit of that mustiness works very well. It, work, it tastes good until that end notes of, um, of that citrusy that gets through. It's like, why are you here? But yeah, hopefully that dies out and maybe get more balance. Let's get into the second third to the band and we'll see where it goes. Be right back. <laughs> I was worried that this cigar is going to turn out to be a pile of turd, okay? But like how Dragon became a dragon, Koi jump over the river and it awakens. Oh my God. 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 Okay. So as I smoke it, it's becoming more and more creamy, more and more creamy. That citrus gone, all right? And now it's like a really chocolatey, woodsy, creamy cigar. Mmm. Wow. It's sweet, licorice, honey, chocolate, wood. What does that tell you? Oh, and pepper. Pepper to the nose. Pepper to the nose. Oof. It starts to taste good. Tastes great. It's a good cigar. It, it put together. Oof. If you have a nice hot latte right now, or even espresso, or cappuccino, it will be the ultimate combination. In fact, you can have hot chocolate and this thing will taste great for the winter. Oh, it tastes really, really good at the end of the second third. I don't know why the first third was like that, but the second third, mm, put together, shove it, nice package, and mm, tastes good. Tastes good. Medium or medium minus. Um, taking factor that I didn't eat anything today. Nope. When I do a review for this kind of cigar, I guess I cannot taste anything else. So I didn't eat anything today. And that gives me about medium. So medium, medium minus. Uh, I want to make sure I get the right band. This is the year of the dragon. See, I like this font. Don't give me those stupid shit Asian font. Just give me a grand, straight, to the point font. This band looks good. Get to the point right away. One thing I didn't like is why is it still white band? Shouldn't you put like a red band or something like that? I don't know why it's just still white band. But, Laster, I'll be happy if it stays this way. It's so nice. It's almost like a little bit of um, um, walnut kind of chocolate kind of coffee note going on right now. It's really creamy, really nice. I like it. If the whole entire cigar tastes like this, I will not complain. This is a good part right now. So, last third. Let me finish up. Go to summary. Be right back. Last third. Musty, nutty. I want to say also the creaminess went down. There is some sort of licorice sweetness. Ooh, and the pepper kind of rimmed up a little bit. If you're not careful. So think of the first third, all those weird tastes but got better and moved it to the third. Cigar is pretty good. I like the transition. I like how it takes time to get to there. Uh, I didn't like how the way they set up the first third, but the cigar itself, pretty good. Pretty good. The, the last little bit, that citrus, from the beginning, almost turned into a, like a fruitiness-ish thing. Kind of works well with that mustiness theme going on. A little bit, 
there is a very little earthiness going on here too. I think overall, it's a good cigar. You just have to take time. You have to get your retro hill. You gotta, you gotta really search and look what you're looking at. That, that sounds a little bit confusing, but the cigar itself takes exploration. Exploration. A lot of flavor. It's really, really good. But if if you happen to smoke it at a in in a way of exploration. I don't know. This might sound confusing. And keep in mind, I got the cigar and I smoked it right away. So I feel like this cigar, if I let it sit for a little bit in the humidor, everything will work, work together very well again. I, the reason I don't I don't mind to smoke it is because this is nicely humidified. It's still soft and nice. I can squeeze it. It's not gonna crack. Almost a little bit wetter than my other cigars. But it's got a balance of taste. It's got a good taste. Okay, it's got a good taste. I think if you keep it and smoke it once a month or something like that you are gonna get really really good flavor out of this i i i really think so but is it a 90 dollar cigar no 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 it's a 65 dollar ish cigar and, and it's actually i can rate this pretty high if you got there if you smoke in the right speed, um, pair with the right things. This got a lot of good flavor in there. I enjoyed it. Minus the first maybe 10, 15 minute. That shaggy foot really didn't do any good. But as you smoke it, things got together. It really, it tastes good. It tastes good. So $65, $70, maybe. I can see that, you know, with the with the packaging and everything, the cigar, I can see sixty five to seventy dollars. All right, it, it's a good cigar, but at the same time, you gotta understand if they're gonna make a cigar, and it's gonna cost and all that. It's, it's blah blah blah. They also, I feel like they also try to use pricing to separate who gets to smoke the cigar. Really. I mean, how many people is going to spend $49,000 to go get a humidor? To get 88 of those cigars. I wouldn't say many. In fact, I think majority of the population, minus a few, uh, isn't going to be able to swipe $49,000 down there at American Express. And the reason I say American Express is because on any other car, you won't be able to swipe $49,000. Uh, Lisa has a two grand limit, MasterCards even less sometimes. But American Express, you can swipe 49. But unless you're that selected few, selected 25, you're not going to be able to do that. In fact, I thought about buying that $49,000 humidor, but it never appeared on their website. It just like the, the moment I was buying it, it wasn't available. But was I happy to buy this one? Yes, I am happy to buy that. And then, do I feel like I lost money for smoking this cigar now? No, I actually is pretty happy. I'm like 90% happy with the packaging. Okay, 90% happy with the packaging. I think about 90, 85% to 90% happy with this cigar. So I'm, I'm pretty good, right? Even though after I heard that rumor story, I feel like yeah, I have to get that. But now, after I smoke this, I can see if the double Corona is going to fail at any point. It's not as good. It's got to have a lot of though, that first third flavor, less of that last third flavor. I don't know. I enjoy it. And I think I, it's got to be one of the things that I smoke once in a while. I will go search for um, 
that double corona if not buy a box because uh, i'm intrigued i'm you know i i want to find out what the difference is so we will have a revisit kind of uh on this particular cigar i think it's worth it and i'll recommend it i will recommend this thing and i recommend that you get enough where you can save one for later i really think this cigar is gonna be really really good if you saved it for a while if that messy first third gets more balanced the rest of the cigar will be great i really think so so yeah with that being said a good cigar it's like the dragon itself for those people who didn't know i um i didn't tell the story but uh, Asians believe that a dragon evolved from koi fish, which jump jump over a gate, and the gate symbolized challenges, hardship, um, endurance. Once you jump over that, you become the dragon. And this is like that. The first, there you gotta endure through it. It's not the best, but once you got through it, you got to the second, third, boom. The flavor started to come together. Start to taste really good. Start to become a more amazing cigar. I like it. I like it. I can see the theme put together very well. I definitely think that this time they did the decoration and packaging correctly. I was very disappointed with the Year of the Rabbit uh, packaging. But Year of the Dragon packaging totally did it right okay and uh, i can see how the asians like it 600 boxes total i have the number here 600 boxes for this toro 25 boxes for the one with the humidor but you can see uh where's that number i think i have the number somewhere I might not. Oh, I found it. For the double Corona, there's 5,160 boxes. And compared to 600 boxes, you know something must be up. If they can create, they decided to create 5,160 boxes for the double Corona at a cheaper price. But for Toro, they only made 600. Worldwide. Worldwide. 5,160 is just in the US. Double Corona in the US has 5,160 and the rest of the world has the other half. And worldwide, this is only 600 boxes. So I would say, if you are a collector, you want to collect a good cigar plus a good box and everything, this is what you will buy. Because I bought it. <laughs> and I was happy with it. Well, I am happy with it. It's a pricey thing. It's the priciest one that we bought. Or I bought. To review here as a single box of cigar. And I think we choose a good one. So. Yeah. We'll definitely do a review on this. Uh, re revisit on this one. And I hope you enjoy the review. I hope you can find one for yourself and try it out for yourself. Do not give up on the first third. After the first third, it gets really, really good. And if you like this review, I hope I'm the, the first one to put it this out. But if you like this review, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment what you think. And let me know if you smoke that double Corona. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.